Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built them yourself. <laughs> Following content is rated ARG. Ahoy, mateys, and welcome to the Kit Hoarders Plunder. Our Captain Mad Dog this morning, and we're going to be looking at the Ravella Germany. Ravella Germany, yeah, it's the Ravella Germany pirate ship. And I believe they call this one the Black Swan because it's got a swan at the very front of the ship. And it's the same kit as the Black Pearl. And I believe that's a Zvezda kit. I believe it's the same mold, all that kind of good stuff. But we're going to take a look at it. We're going to review it for you. We're going to see if it's worth having our main meaties. I believe this is going to be... A wonderful, wonderful day to be a scallywag. Let's take a look. Okay, here is the outside of this box. This is the one that I'm keeping and that I'm actually going to build, so we'll look at it. Here's the side of the box. And you can see why I'm keeping this one. It's, uh, the box is a little ripped up. But I have a second one of these that actually is going to find its way to uh, Kit Links. And it will be sold at Kit Links. And you can see the price somebody had it marked. Well, I didn't pay that for it, so we'll just say that. Okay, let's open this thing up. So here we've gotten to the bottom of the box. Um, you can see we've got some really nice looking pirate flags. Really nice looking. Um, and then our, our rigging. And uh, some safety advice. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at the instructions. So first off, uh, tells a little bit about the pirate ship. And all of these kind of, you know, wonderful things that, yeah. Parts break down. Uh, looks like we're going to build the base, of course. We've got a couple of different versions of things we can do here. That's with the guns open, or the gun, the gun ports open or the gun ports closed. Here we're working on the deck. Deck and cannons. And the captain's cabin area together, the sides. Some of the ornate pieces that we're putting into this thing in our boat. Looks like we got a cask of rum there. I like that. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's water. <laughs> um, now, on the Black Pearl kit, my understanding is you've got the um, the angel um, for the prow. The difference between that and this kit is you've got the uh, the black swan. So and here now this ship is based on an East Indian galleon um, because this is well this is kind of based on the black pearl. And even though the Black Pearl's a uh, mythical ship, or a uh, whatever you want to call it, um, it is based on an East Indian galleon. And then putting all of this beautiful rigging together, which, you know, maybe someday I'll, I'll get to that again. <laughs> I'll definitely get the ship built. But as far as the rigging goes, who knows? Putting sails on it. 
I do like these instructions though. They're very clear on where things go. And I really like that, the length of the different uh, pieces of rigging. Very, very nice. Very nice. But definitely, definitely one I would recommend. I did purchase, and I can't remember who makes them, but I've got some zombie pirates in uh, this 172nd scale, which are uh, based on the Pirates of the Caribbean. There's uh, there's a Jack Sparrow in there. There's I think there's a Barbosa in there. I have to look at them, but I know there's a Davy Jones. They give you like uh, 10 or 12 different pirates, and then they give you like five frets of the same same group. So it's it's kind of interesting. And here's our painting and our finishing. This thing's going to look so awesome. No matter what you do to it, it's going to look awesome. Okay, let's uh, get into the parts. Okay, so here's our base, which I, I do like that. Very basic, but uh, a lot of different things you could do with it. And here's the hull. Actually quite a bit smaller than the ones I've, actually, I've been working on in, in 196 scale. Now, I did take the deck out of this because this is what I did the demonstration on a while back uh, when we demoed how to paint a deck, but uh, this is the one with the Mission Models paint. And you can see, I, again, the detail is just amazing. And this is the one with the Tamiya paint. And let's, let's, look at the, let's look at the deck detail on here. If I dry brush that uh, with what I've already done, I bet this would just really pop. So very well molded, very, very well done. Okay, then we've got a bunch of these frets here. So what's on here? Okay, so these. You can see what these are. A bunch of different buckles, things like that. There's four of those. Or those frets don't fret and then these have looks like the cannon uh, uh, what do you call them carriages but look at this look at the detail on these and this is what goes around the uh, the captain's cabin area and I actually think I'm gonna resin cast me some of these for future use those are awesome and there's four of these frets. And of course, they have the cannons as well. I think they're supposed to be a 12 pound cannon, 12 pound, I believe. And again, in 172nd scale. And here we've got some of the sails, and they're not the, the blown plaid, whatever you call it, uh, vacuum formed. These are actual injection molded plastic and I they look great those are gonna look really really good oh here's part of the stand look at that ooh yeah that that looks nice there's the ship's wheel that's a nice big wheel looks like we got anchor parts and crow's nest parts and the bow sprit parts Let's see what else we got here. Oh, and we got parts of the parts of the uh, oh the front of the ship. And bless you, Finley just sneezed. Here we've got the the doors for the cannons. The detail on this is just superb. Look at this, how fine that is. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm impressed. The uh, some more of the sails. Now, I wanted to show you the detail here on the captain's cabin. That looks great. And again, more more deck detail. That's just fabulous. Ah, uh, this is this is one of those kits that I would definitely say is worth the money. I know it's it's expensive, 
but definitely with the detail you're getting on this I would definitely say it's worth it okay here's our rat lines and they look very good I mean look at the look at the flipping detail on these yeah I'm as you can tell I'm impressed okay here is our bow Ooh, what the heck? Well, and some other some other parts. Okay, so check out this detail here for the back. That looks amazing. Looks like something I should cast. And then here's the swan. Oh, wow. Yeah, very, very impressive. Here's the clear parts. I'm gonna leave them in the bag. They look great. Oh, look at this. The, uh, the the boats, the ship's boats. Very, very detailed. Wow. Uh, having built these other ships that I've been building, they're, they're nice, but not near the detail this thing is. Okay, and here's the sides of the ship. But again, the detail is just... Oh. Um, yeah, I'm blown away at this thing. It's beautiful. And finally, we've got some more sails. Let's look at the sails. The main sails. And looks like we've got, these are just a little bit different in size. But, again, very detailed. Wow, I love the fact that they're already on the... Oh, yeah, this is this is an impressive kit for me so hopefully this was helpful for you folks uh, those of you who might want to get one of these again i highly recommend this kit it looks superb thanks for joining us today